The tragedies of 9-11-2001 are unspeakable. Let us never forget, in recognition of the lives lost and in an effort to bring positives out of that day, ECPI University, Northern Virginia campus, will be engaging in a simulated mass casualty response on October 12, 2019. The event will include executing a fusion protocol response involving law enforcement and medical first responders. Let us learn some of the details from the key architects behind this cutting edge simulation. The main purpose of this mass casualty event for our nursing students is to provide them realistic um, situations that they might see in a um, setting such as what we're doing here at ECPI. Our students learn the mass casualty incident triage and caregiving for nurses in their didactic courses. However, it is very difficult for us to prep for something like this. Unfortunately, it's seen a lot throughout the world now where mass casualty incidents are becoming more prevalent. So it provides an opportunity and uh, creates awareness for situations such as this for our students. From the CJ student perspective, one of the purposes of the exercise is to give the students a sense of reality as relates to what the law enforcement, criminal justice, and homeland security specialists do on a daily basis. Respond to circumstances that they may not have been exposed to in the past. If you think in terms of the events of 9-11, the events of 9-11, catastrophic as they were, were things that some of the folks in the New York City Police Department and the Fire Department and Port Authority Police and all the first responders may have trained to in part, but that in part training is what they had to use in order to go into the buildings in the manner in which they did. In memory of those persons, as it relates to the lessons learned, the lessons learned for the law enforcement professional is be prepared for any circumstance that you may encounter as best you can. So from our perspective, as from the CJ perspective, the exercise is meant to have the student be prepared as a law enforcement professional for the need to make decisions at a time when decisions have to be made. Some of the skills our students will be engaging in during this mass casualty event will range from very novice for our beginner nursing students to very kind of advanced levels for our senior, senior level nursing students. We have a wide range of levels of nursing students for this event. Therefore, depending on the class or the course that they will be in in that current term, they will be doing skills similar to that. So for instance, if they are in a class where they learn respiratory, some of their victims might have smoke inhalation or some type of respiratory disorder where they will have to have hands-on experience and hands-on care for those respiratory patients, where other students might have be in a cardiac class and they might have a patient go into cardiac arrest. So it will just kind of depend on what course the students are in at that The students who are participating in the scenario are going to have a hands-on to those events that would take place in a circumstance of the type that we're going to, to present. They're going to participate in the following. Command and control, crime scene collection, intelligence, hostage negotiation, interview and interrogation, and perimeter security from the perspective of the perimeter security as a proactive aspect of what law enforcement will do at a scene of this type. I think the biggest takeaway our students will receive from this mass casualty incident is being able to prepare and care for patients in a triage setting for a mass casualty event without actually being in the harmful setting and they are in a safe environment while doing so. From the criminal justice, law enforcement, and homeland security perspective, be prepared, train, be prepared to make decisions when decisions have to be made. Look at what the professionals who will be 
present during the scenario will show you or advise you on how they would do it if this were to happen in reality. One of my favorite parts of simulation is creating realism, which we can often do with what's called moulage, and it is real life materials and makeup to kind of <coughs> create a traumatic injury to a patient. And I do have an example of a couple different injuries here. So for instance, a gunshot wound, a burn, and these are the types of injuries that we'll be using for these victims of this mass casualty event to create realism for our nurses to actually treat these injuries in real time. The scenario is taken from events which the students may have some sense of having seen or read about in the past. The difference is here in this event, the student will be the active participant. The student will be exposed to the time element of when things need to have happened. The clock will be the override as to making decisions, completing the crime scene, completing the interrogation, completing the interview, completing the every task that each student has individually been asked to do. This event can benefit our nursing students in their future careers because it creates a very unique learning experience and opportunity for all of our students. It's not very often, and there are not a lot of schools that actually participate in events such as these, and it really gives a benefit to what our students learn in their didactic courses about mass casualty events and triaging, and puts it in real time so they can actually get that hands-on experience. This event may benefit the students by them actually seeing their future career before them. By the exposure to the law enforcement professional who is present and advising, by exposure to the hands-on approach of what the student is going to do, the approach to the timing that's required for them to do things, they may just see something of themselves performing these activities, participating in these careers where they hadn't previously seen them. The done. first responders who have graciously agreed to work with side-by-side -side with these students in the criminal justice and medical programs include Prince Williams County Police Department, Fairfax County Police Department, Manassas City Police Department, the United States Drug and Food Administration, Virginia State Police, the Department of Homeland Security, and the United States Naval Criminal Investigative Services, also known as NCIS. Let us never forget, God bless America and all our first responders for their life-saving work.